Visit the town of Dalesford, just one and a half hours from Melbourne, and you'll be amazed at the quantity of art, fashion and craft galleries in the town. One of the latest and most enterprising is Stony Creek Gallery. The artist in residence, Michael Parker, works in a range of mediums and is passionate about his art. Well, I'm Michael Parker, I'm an artist, and I've moved up from Melbourne 10 months ago now, up to Dalesford to uh, open this gallery. I've been painting for some 22 years now, and uh, it's always been a dream of mine to have my own gallery, to exhibit mine and other people's works. My mother's an artist, and um, she's been painting for over 60 years. So growing up as a child, I suppose I always uh, I was so really fascinated by the whole procedure of painting and, and just the smell of the linseed oil in the air was just, for me, it was just brilliant. I loved it. Myself and Linda work in the gallery and um, we find it's a fantastic combination and uh, she's an artist as well. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great balance. We both enjoy being around each other and and being in a beautiful space surrounded by fantastic artwork. When we came here on holidays, it was really nice just to see. It was nice and serene and it was quiet and pleasant and we'd go to the lake and we just enjoyed it. And then one day we decided that it would be nice to actually not have to go home. Yeah, it made sense that we came to somewhere that was nice and peaceful and, and uh, beautiful surroundings. It, it was all about the space and the windows for me because I just thought, well, we need a big space and because Mike had a lot of work, a lot of paintings that we wanted to put up and we needed this kind of space. I went over to Europe um, in about 92 and spent four and a half years there. When I uh, arrived back I was commissioned to do a painting of Sir Donald Bradman walking out onto the MCG in 1937. I painted it from a black and white photograph and uh, put my own take on it. I was very lucky to have Sir Don himself sign 20 of them, so yeah, I was very, very happy with that. There's probably about three or four different styles that I have, and um, I suppose I do that because I get a little bit bored sometimes doing the same thing, and I think because your imagination's always taking you to different places and wanting to explore different things. So I, I have a contemporary sort of landscape that I love doing. It's quite heavily textured. Also, uh, I work on sort of like a sea theme where they're usually triptychs, but sometimes they're single panels. And I, I make, them, make the wooden panel myself, and uh, which I later, once I've painted it, over it, I route out boxes, holes where I'll um, incorporate driftwood maybe that I've collected and uh, different shells that I've found uh, into the painting. Um, also, I work, love recently um, working on pieces like this, which are, are resin pieces. And um, there's probably about 15 to 20 layers of, of resin over there and I'm mixing different uh, pigments into the resin to get the colours. Um, they're a little bit more vibrant for me because I do like working with earthy tones. Um, and also now I'm doing a, a bit of sort of more contemporary pieces where I'm cutting up metal and um, putting that onto the, onto the canvas. I source the metal pieces from different places, from tips and different bits and pieces and uh, some of it's, I've recently got some aeroplane from Papua New Guinea from World War II which I put into a painting and yeah I find that they're really nice sort of modern pieces of artwork. People aren't expecting to see so many different varieties of work by the one artist. They usually ask you know who is this, this, this guy and where does he live, is he local or I say, yeah, he's, he's about three feet away from you. <laughs> oh, it's so cool because we get to watch them as they walk in the door and they all just go, wow, especially when they look at the floor. 
So that's kind of a real talking point where Mike painted the floor with the story um, he wrote this about seven years ago. It's just a wow factor every time. So people are really um, taken by it all because there's a lot of work that went into that. This is what I like to think of as an aerial landscape, so I'm incorporating different metals. This is um, aluminium with bitumen on it and copper and canvas laid on top of the canvas, uh, heavily textured, and I'm looking at it as a, a bird's flying over the top of it and what the bird would be looking at. Obviously, wouldn't be looking at this, but uh, these can be the rooftops of barns and I quite often get a pencil and draw in the, the fences here. Um, so it's sort of uh, over the top of the countryside, looking down in a sort of contemporary abstract view. He's very passionate and very determined and he's got millions of ideas. It's just, can he keep up with his ideas, you know? So he's always on the go. So there's always new things coming out, uh, new ideas for new paintings, developing paintings he already has. Um, it's his passion, so it's his life.